Mason Ford. I am your 2018 Rookie of the Year, and I'm going to show you what's in my bag. First, I'm going to show you guys my putters. So this year for 2020, I am putting with the Galactic AVR, the team stamp. I just like the feel, the constant stiffness of the plastic. Nice and straight. I really don't have to worry about it hyzering out or it turning in the wind. I typically don't putt with any other putters, you know, headwind, tailwind, other than these inside 35 feet. So one of my three throwing putters is the Omega Super Soft. Obviously it's pretty soft. I pretty much use it within 300 feet of the tee. Right out of the box, they're normally pretty straight to understable. Not really much stability in it. And I typically use it for 100 foot jump putts, 60 foot spin putts, just something beyond that 35 feet that I'm not really comfortable using the AVRs with. My next putter I'll be throwing this year is the Sea line P2, given by my girlfriend Valerie Monohano. Really just love the feel of it. Nice, stiff, not too soft. Just holds a nice, stable, glidey flight. Something that the Omega Super Soft kind of doesn't have. My next throwing putter that I throw is the AVR X3. It just really wants to find the ground fast. It's really good for touch forehand approaches, off the tee forehands that are under 250 feet, and really nice in the wind for backhand up shots when I don't have the confidence in the P2. Now to the mid-ranges. For the mid-ranges, I love the Stark Coyote. It's slowly became my number one mid-range, just do-it-all disc for me. This one I've had for pretty close to over a year. I think I got it from Anthony Freighter out of San Antonio. It's just, it started off as a point-and-shoot kind of disc, and now it's slowly moved into like a Mako 3 type frisbee. Just probably my favorite mid range I've ever owned. It's just, I can always trust it. Never really strayed away on a bad shot with it, really. My second mid range is another Star Kyle. This one's a little bit newer. Started out basically how this orange one started out. Now it's just straight, pretty much does whatever I throw it on if I want it to turn. Throw it on a little Anheuser, it'll turn and pan out. Heiser, throw it on a nice Heiser, just Heiser's out. Just pretty much does whatever I tell it to. The next mid range I throw is the Star Crow. Pretty oddball disc, but I just really like the flight of it. I really don't like the feel of the rocks or the rock X's in my hand. I really don't like the bead. That's another reason why I throw the Coyote. It just has a really stable, not too much glide, but it gets there. I really enjoy the Star Crow. The next mid range I throw is the Recon Mortar, the 1.4 run. I've had this disc for probably about three years. It's just never really changed in flight. It's always just been that not very glidey, brick of a disc, gator type frisbee. It's just always been good to me. So, on to the fairways. My first fairway driver that I throw and that I've basically been throwing since I started playing the game is the JLS. This is almost like a leopardish kind of disc, but I feel like it's a little bit faster, has a little bit better glide in some situations. Pretty straight to understable right out of the box. I really like the work angles with discs. So this is just, you know, a beautiful workable disc for me. The next step up in stability is the Star TL. It maybe just gets a little bit extra distance that the JLS doesn't. You can see I have this beautiful Tree Love stamp here. Shout out to Tree Love. Thanks for all the support this year. Really like the stiff feel of this one. It's just pretty much does the same shots that the JLS does, but a little bit further. My next fairway driver is the Star T-Bird. This one is 171. I like them around the 167 to 171 weight range just because I feel like it's a little bit workable. Like if I'm off on angles, it'll kind of correct it for me. Versus a max weight one, it's more punishing if I miss the angles, kind of. Next fairway driver is the Star TL3. Shout out to Valerie again, she gave me this one too. 
So this started out really, really straight, not really an overstable TL3, but it slowly became Sidewinder-like. It's very understable, throw at hydro flips to turns, or just stand-up shots. My next fairway driver is the brand new TL3 that I just put in the bag starting at the year. This one's still very straight to overstable, really not a whole lot of turn in the flight yet. I'm kind of excited to see where this disc will go once it beats in. My next fairway driver is the Quantum Orion LF. So this was one of my commemorative discs for 2018 when I won Ricky of the Year. So this was kind of Millennium's gift to me and it helped me fundraise kind of for 2018, getting on the road, getting some more events. And uh, yeah, so shout out to Millennium for all the support last year and this year. On my next fairway driver, I have the Champion Glow Firebird. This one is pretty flat. Though it's flat, it's not very overstable. It's kind of softer. It's not like the stiff glow runs that people come out with. It's just kind of consistent flight, not really overstable, not really too glidey, but I really enjoy the flight of this Firebird. My next fairway driver is the Metal Flake PD. This isn't really overstable, it just gets me to distances that the LF and the TL3 kind of won't because it's that little bit of extra speed. It has the stability of like a Thunderbird type disc. It just basically, like I said, gets me distances that the LF won't. Now time for the distance drivers. My first distance driver is a Star Destroyer. This is actually the only destroyer that I throw. This was not very old, it was pretty much right out of the box, pretty understable. It's one of the runs where it has the lizard type plastic in the rim, and I always think that that makes the disc just start off a little bit more understable than maybe a regular destroyer will. It has a really good top, I really like the top, it's not too soft but not too stiff with the star plastic. Really enjoyable disc. My next distance driver is the Sirius Scorpius. I really love the consistency of the Scorpius. That's the reason why I kind of pick it over the Destroyer, just for the fact that I can kind of figure out which runs I like with it and kind of stick to that run. So if I really like the flight of, let's say, the 1.8 Scorpius, I can only throw the 1.8 Scorpius versus the Destroyer. My next Scorpius is a little bit more stable than the last. I really like this one for throwing forehands. It's not really overstable, but for my sidearm, it's just really workable. I feel like it almost always comes out of any angle that I really throw on it. I feel like this one is very similar to the commemorative Greg Barsby runs. So this is kind of one of the runs that I really like for forehands. The next one that I have, he was given to me from a good friend in San Antonio, his name's Toby Leslie. Very happy he gave me this disc. It's the 1.7 Sirius run. It's a little bit more overstable than this last Quantum Glow. It doesn't have a whole lot of glide, but it's just really a touch more stable than this other scope is. Moving up in stability here, we have, I'm not exactly sure what run of Scorpius it is. I know they came up with a certain run with this small little Scorpius stamp down here at the bottom. And this has just been, you know, one of the more overstable Scorpiuses that I've had in my bag over the last couple of years. Still wants to have some good glide, still wants to have the overstability that the other ones really don't have. It's just really consistent, you know, head winds, side winds. I really don't forehand it a whole lot because I really don't have that fast of a sidearm speed, but if it does pick up, I will, I will sidearm it. The last distance driver that I have is really basically just for windy days, you know, a lot of wind, backhand shots, forehand shots. I really enjoy it. It's the Champion Excalibur. Just basically used for just windy days or tall spike hydra type shots, backhand spike hydra type shots, just something that if I throw this, the Scorpius will kind of glide out versus this will just kind of want to find the ground faster. Who 
moving on to my last disc that I have. It's kind of more or less a utility disc. Is the Bradley Williams Signature Frontline Sabbath. So this basically is a shorter version of the XKEL. Wants to find the ground even more. It's very similar to the Star Max in feel. It's just that these are a little bit easier to find for me than maybe a Star or a Champion Max. So here I have a couple of the minis that I, uh, I carry with me. So this mini here I've actually had since the day I got sponsored by Millennium in 2017. It's just been something that I kind of hold dear to heart. I got it from Rudy Martinez who's kind of been a really big mentor to me and helped me grow a lot and show a lot of love to me in the disc golf community. Shout out to Third Coast Disc Golf for all of their support and help this year too. I have this old Millennium Mini. I also carry this beautiful looking Tree Love Mini. Shout out to Tree Love. Um, they're also one of my sponsors for the year. They've helped me out quite a bit. I'd like to thank my sponsors, Innova Champion Discs. Millennium Golf Discs for their support since 2017. This is my first year with Innova. Really happy with our relationship that we're starting to build here between John Poole, Joe Rotan. Really love those guys. They have a lot of love and support out there for everybody. Thank you to Tree Love for their support. I would also really like to thank GK Pro for putting up this video on their YouTube channel. Thank you everybody for watching.